Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting crematory stench, grotesque deformities on Head Split Records and soon to be on 7 Inch via Blood Harvest Records. Some of the most disgusting death metal to come out of 2018. Awesome, awesome stuff here. I love it. And here's a nice little late um, Christmas present to you guys. Um, it's a nice digital download for Victim in Pain by Agnostic Front. So, um, yeah, snag it. I'm not sure if it still exists because <laughs> this is a digital download on a iPod mini thing. It's pretty sick, actually. I think that's badass. But yeah, awesome, awesome hardcore record from 1984 by Agnostic Front. But um, this is the complete opposite. We're going to be going over a buddy of mine, Kyle's Band from Denver, Colorado, that worship the altar of the mighty HM2 pedal, and that is Inoculated Life and Exist to Decay on um, Redefined Darkness Records, and I forget who did the cassette off the top of my head, but this sounds so sick on tape, but um, Dagger Death did the um, cassette version of this, and you have artwork by Ethan McCarthy, and seven songs of crushing H2M, HM2 pedaling worship, Death metal. Fucking heavy as balls. And definitely, if you're a fan of Dismember, Gate Creeper, Entombed, any band that kind of loves the HM2 pedal, fucking A, you're gonna eat this the fuck up. Especially a track like Birth into Purgatory just really, really brought me back to the first time I ever heard Dismember like an ever-flowing stream. I, I don't know why. It just, like, hearkened this memory, and it just, like, I don't know. Like, I was like, dude, this is awesome. Like, especially for an old-school death metal, like, influence, so many bands go the Swedish route and take the HM2 pedal and kind of build their band off of that. I feel like Inoculated Life, it's mostly, yeah, they love the HM2 pedal, and it's kind of the star of the show here, alongside the vocals, but to me, out in front is the drumming. Fucking A. Like, seriously, there's parts on here that sound like it's power violence. It's awesome. Seriously, fucking great stuff, and it reminded me of something I've been wanting to do personally for a long time, and that is make a power violence band with death metal vocals. If anyone's interested, email me or hit me up on Instagram at Suburban Shrapnel. Like, I really, really would like to do something along those lines, but Inoculated Life with these seven tracks here on Exist to Decay. Same on the cassette as well. But this is just amazing. Like, for some old school HM2 pedal worshipping death metal, yeah. So goddamn good. It's like Gate Creeper on steroids. Like, seriously. Awesome stuff. And I really, really like the whole entire just vocal delivery. It was just straight to the fucking point. No bullshit. No good cop, bad cop, worse cop vocals. This was just right on the money, right what it needed to be. And it straight up sounds like this was recorded in Sweden back in like 1993. It's great, like in that aspect. And I really like the production because you have Brad Boatwright doing it and that guy knows how to make shit sound crushing. And that's what Inoculated Life did here with these seven tracks on Exist to Decay. Just wow. 
I, I can't get over just how sick this sounds for a band that, you know, so many bands out there really do kind of go, uh, go for the um, HM2 pedal worshipping style of death metal. But a lot of them just kind of, it's like, oh, it's just some, you know, entombed clone. I didn't feel that way at all listening to Exist to Decay. And these Denver Death Dealers, they just happen to love that HM2 pedal sound. But throw in grindcore elements, power violence elements, and you get something that makes this really, really stand out from bands such as like Gate Creeper and whatnot that, you know, kind of are in front of that HM2 pedal resurgence and whatnot. Because I feel like a lot of bands, especially in hardcore, use it as well. But this is a death metal record. Through and through. Like, yeah, there's parts on here that, like I said, they go into grind, grind territory. They even kind of venture into power violence territory. But at the end of the day... Inoculated Life is a fucking death metal record, and Exist to Decay is awesome in that aspect. Like, seriously, the riffs on here, great. The drumming is a fucking A+. The vocal delivery, amazing. This is just a good, it's a kick-ass release. Seven songs of Swedish worshipping American death metal. And yeah, that might sound like a million other bands, but trust me, Inoculated Life have a sound of their own alongside of their influences that aren't really worn on their shoulders. Like, there's a couple songs, like I said, Birth in the Purgatory, instantly in my head I heard Dismember. But for the rest of this, I was just enjoying it, and I wasn't trying to pick out riffs or, like, faults or anything. I was just enjoying the ride it's one of those you know buy the ticket take the ride type you know experiences sonically kick-ass little little release right here and i noticed it's limited to 300 copies on cd so if this sounds like something you'd be interested in fucking get on it like seriously and this might get released on lp eventually it fucking deserves to be in my opinion it's really, really good. Like, I know it's kind of, like, sounding like, oh, it's just another HM2 worshipping death metal band. It sounds like they're from Sweden, but they're not. There's something about this that, you know, it's crushing, and it's, like, rad. And at the same time, yeah, it's not 100% original, but it still fucking kicks ass. How many bands out there are seriously 100% original these days when it comes to death metal? Everybody is going the autopsy, mortician, filthy, heavy, crushing route. And this is filthy, it's crushing, it's heavy, but it's more rooted in Swedish death metal than trying to be something straight out of the sewers and whatnot and just coated in filth and like inhuman vocals the vocals in on here are loud and clear very very well done it's just a like it does remind me a lot of gate about it does remind me a lot of gate creeper but at the same time it is their own project and i really actually prefer inoculated life exists to decay over the Gate Creeper full length. I actually played them back, back to back, and was like, "All right, I, I kind of do like this a little bit more." But um, I think that's just because I've heard that Gate Creeper record so many times, and this was just pretty much a freshie. I have heard it digitally after um, Kyle told me he was sending this over my way, but I mostly listened to the cassette first, and then I threw the CD version on. And this is just a lot crispier sounding, and that's the only real difference. And you get the, the tape hiss, which I think adds a little extra heaviness regardless. But you have two different options here. I'm not sure if this is sold out, but 
I'm sure you could still grab a copy of this. If you like HM2 pedals, if you like fucking death metal, you can't really go wrong here with inoculated life exists to decay. Get birthed in the purgatory and get into this Denver death metal group because it's some badass shit here. Seven tracks of sweet death from America with a grinding influence kind of hovering over the whole thing. And that's what makes this kind of stand out from the rest of the HM2 pedal bunch. And that's mostly boils down to the drumming, like I was saying. It's just amazing. No random good cop, bad cop vocals, just kick-ass, old-school death metal. And, you know, if that's not your thing, I don't know what to tell you, but give it a listen. Even if, you know, Swedish death metal and the resurgence of HM2 pedal worshipping bands isn't your thing, you still might find something to like about Exist to Decay by Inoculated Life. Redefining Darkness Records did the CD version, limited to 300, and I keep forgetting, uh, Dagger Death did the cassette version of this. So, if you're interested, I will put both links below, and if you can get a copy of this on cassette, do it. But if not, grab the CD, if CDs are your thing. If not, I don't know what to tell you. You gotta listen to it on Bandcamp. But, you're gonna love this. You get Exist to Decay, Birth in the Purgatory, Suffer, Indignation, Murderer's Sky, Abysmal Fixation, and Deteriorate. Just seven tracks of Swedish-influenced American HM2 pedal-worshipping death metal. That's like a tongue twister. HM2 pedal-worshipping death metal. Not really, I'm just a fucking idiot, and this is like my ninth time trying to do this. My one buddy has been calling me from jail, and I just have to, it, it cancels the video, and I've had to redo this. So, I'm sorry if it's like, oh, uh, I'm like, I'm like trying to remember what I said the first time around. And pretty much what you get here, seven tracks from Inoculated Life on Exist to Decay of Swedish HM2 pedal fueled grinding death metal. That's it. If you're a fan of grind, if you're a fan of death metal, and if you're a fan of Swedish death metal, Look no further, because Inoculated Life have you covered with Exist to Decay on Redefine Darkness Records. And in case you didn't snag it, this is Agnostic Front Victim in Pain on Bridge Nine Records. Beep, 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 beep. What a sick digital download card. But we were blasting Crematory Stench grotesque deformities on head split records i love this release and i highly recommend you guys check it out if you've yet to i'll put a link below and yeah hopefully you enjoy this as much as i do but definitely check out inoculated life exists to decay it's worth your time links will be below as always thanks for watching you guys fucking rule. If you're in jail, do not call me in between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Thank you. Hoos.